This is a quick video about how superantigens is different from um, a normal APC T cell receptor antigen presentation. Okay, so here I have a picture of um, something that would look like if it was superantigens or if it was antigen presentation. So you see that this is our APC, sorry, it should be a PC antigen presenting cell and this is our T cell T lymphocyte okay and this is our the, the 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 blue regions are our T cell receptor okay and the green region is our um, MHC class 2 okay so you see the pink region in the middle so this first picture so let's say this is A and this is B so picture A the antigen is presented by the MHC class 2 to the T cell receptors. It's right in the middle. And then the interacting areas are uh, alpha 1 and beta 1 for MHC class 2 is interacting with the variable regions, the alpha and the beta variable regions of the T cell receptor. Where you see in this one, there is nothing in the middle because there is no um, presentation of antigen in superantigens. The superantigen is kind of outside. It's only interacting with the beta 1 region with the beta variable region of the T cell. So here I've made a, a quick summary of how MHC class 2 and T cell receptor works in a normal antigen presentation and how it is different from superantigens. So normal antigen presentation, peptide found interacting with the alpha and the beta chain of MHC class 2 and the variable alpha and the beta region of the T cell receptor. T cell receptor, alpha, and beta. But in superantigens, um, there is a B chain, so beta chain, interacts off MHC class 2, interacts with the beta variable chain of the T cell receptor. Okay, And also, there is no antigen presentation in superantigens. So no antigen presentation. in superantigen. So there you go. That's my interpretation of um, superantigens and the difference between superantigens and the innate um, antigen presentation.